Welcome to the Actual Facts Tarot. I am Goddess Hatet Hororatet, and this is a general love reading for my amazing Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, and Venus. Cancer, my darling. I'd like to thank you for stopping by and coming to visit me today. Now, you know what I'm about to say, right? Don't forget to hit that like, that share, subscribe to my page, hit the bell notifier to know and I will be uploading more of your videos, Cancer. This is your reading for August 2020 and I'm utilizing the Triple Goddess Tarot that I haven't used in a while for you, honey, okay? Now, uh, as you can see, we have everything spread on out, Cancer. Let's just dive into this reading. Well, baby, apparently someone who is the queen of pentacles, uh, can, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, <laughs> is making sure that they have everything on the list, okay? Making sure that they have everything they need uh, before they go ahead and take the leap towards the four of wands, okay? So we got the full hair taking the leap towards the four of wands. And this is your twin soul, your twin flame, your twin ray who is making sure that they got everything they need before they make the leap towards you, my darling, my beauty, okay? Now... <clears throat> This person, this this uh, twin soul, twin flame, oh, they just can't fight it anymore, Cancer. I mean, look, <laughs> the Ten of Wands. This person can't fight it anymore, and they need uh, to go ahead and communicate. Communicate, baby, with the Eight of Wands. They need to communicate. This Ten of Wands person who just cannot uh, fight it anymore is coming in with fast action communication about resurrecting something with the daggone strength here now what they resurrecting what they talking about well they want to resurrect your love they know that something between y'all has died okay as you can see the wolf here is dead and this person here is trying to resurrect that wolf trying to heal that wolf okay so yeah something between y'all is dead and stinking okay and this person want to come back and communicate with you because they just can't fight it anymore cancer this person could be a leo an aries a sagittarius baby now with the six of um the six of uh chalice's hair this person is in love with you. Oh my goodness. So when we go across here, we see that they know that you are their twin soul, their twin flame. They're tired of fighting the fact that they're in love with you. And they they realize right now that you are a very nurturing and beautiful, uh, loving energy. Or this person wants to come back towards you, Cancer, because... They want to give your younger self, your pure self, your innocent self that was shown that you showed to this person love now. Okay, that's what the six of chalices can be saying as well, that you are coming towards someone as an innocent soul. And this person is very nurturing towards you. Okay, or coming back to someone who used to be like that. It can go both ways, baby, but you are, or they are feeling very nostalgic about this, uh, this, uh, reunion with you. Um, here was the full hair twice. Okay. So wait a minute, baby. We got it across here. <laughs> we got the full, the full twice here with this daggone communication cancer. So this person is leaping double time okay this is double time baby to communicate to you uh that yeah they want to resurrect what has been dead and stinking between y'all for quite some time now ten of ten of uh swords here ten of swords is a aquarius libra gemini okay sword energy okay so yeah this person that yeah they want to um resurrect what it was that was dead between y'all and they just can't fight it anymore, Cancer. 
They just cannot fight anymore, baby. And, and what do you expect, Cancer? I mean, what you expect somebody just go ahead and be able to fight the love that they have for you? Come on, Cancer, that's not fair. I mean, you're you're far too uh, beautiful of an energy. You're far too magnetic of an, as an energy. You can't expect for this person to be able to fight their feelings for you, Cancer. I mean, what in the world? Are you kidding me? <clears throat> I wonder how long it took them to reach this Ten of Wands. <laughs> I wonder how long it took them, how many days, weeks, or even has it been a year or a year since you spoke to this person? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Here's the Love Oracle cards, baby. Boom. The Dragonfly. It says, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. So this person has this deck on a list of things that they have changed and healed inside of themselves, okay? Things that have come to the light about themselves that they have decided to go ahead and check off, okay, yeah, I healed this, okay, I've changed that, okay, this about myself is not good, that about myself is not good, okay, so now I'm going to be lighthearted when I take the leap towards my cancer, okay? Mm -hmm. Here we got, boom, altered view, baby, altered view. Seeing things differently than they are, past conditioning, influencing situation, reevaluate, and that is on the deck on eight of wands okay eight of wands and the ten of wands this person is reevaluating and they realize that the reason that they've been fighting their feelings for you their passion for you is because of their past conditioning influencing the daggone situation and things that have happened to them in the past okay this leo aries and sagittarius now coming back one in the top or somebody just very passionate very passionate okay we have four i mean three wand cards out here okay mm. so yeah they want you to see it differently whenever they start communicating with you okay they want you to see everything differently than how it really was or how it really went down or maybe the person who or no 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 you cancer maybe you uh are seeing it differently now maybe you are allowing this person to come back into your life and and resurrect something that was dead and stank in between y'all because this person hey while they were in the daggone laying down feeling like they were dead with the ten of swords because what they did to you hurt you so bad and hurt their daggone selves they were hit by cupid's arrow who we <laughs> dance up have faith. Love is coming, baby. Love is coming. Okay, baby. A uh, surprise initiation or meeting hesitation. Oh, this person was hesitating. They were hesitating for a minute, but now they got the fool. Now they got, and that's the reason they got the daggone fool because of the Cupid's error. <laughs> Cancer, did I do another reading for you where somebody got hit by the Cupid's arrow and coming at you, Cancer? Okay, this person is now in love. Mm -hmm. They're in love, baby. Mm. They're not hesitating no more, okay? All right, Cancer, we'll go ahead and, and, and handle it then. Well, what you want me to do? There ain't nothing I can do about this kind of person coming at you with this daggone fast action communication. Can't fight the fact that they love you. Can't fight the fact that they have all this passion for you. Can't fight the fact that you are their twin soul, baby. You are their twin soul. Their twin flame. How do you expect them to fight this cancer? So when they come at you being hit with Cupid's arrow, you make sure you go ahead and try to see things their their way. Because the past, your your past with each other may be influencing uh the situation, okay? <clears throat> and you know, maybe it's just time to go ahead and be more lighthearted about what happened in the past and go ahead and let that go, cancer. Go ahead and let that go, baby. Now, here's the daggone, the secret language of light, transmission from your soul. Okay, honey, now you got to let your light shine. 
<laughs> I'm gonna put that on the the, uh, the eight of wands because that's your light that's gonna shine in between the taking the leap twice. So there is absolutely no stopping you. On a 45, that right there is the nine. That's the highest number, number of completion. So you are completely, or they are completely done with fighting their feelings. Oh my goodness, Cancer. Now let's go ahead and read it, baby. Mm, be authentic. Mm, mm, mm. Come on, Cancer. Today, embrace your uniqueness. Say to yourself, I am so pleased and honored to be me. <laughs> embrace the parts of you that may feel a little strange. Of course, Cancer, you're strange. I mean, come on. You're odd. And I'm an Aquarius. I have been dealing with so many daggone cancers. <laughs> it's just been cancer after cancer after cancer. I'm like, okay, okay, universe. What in the world are you trying to teach me about cancer? Okay, and you may be dealing with an Aquarius like me. A uh, uh, Gemini or Libra. Okay. And I'm saying that the cancer is strange. That's the reason why I brought me into it. But sorry about that, cancer. Let's get Let's get back to this reading, baby. Uh, they feel this way because you resist experiencing the fullness of you. Yes. We can all feel a little odd or peculiar at times, longing to be like everyone else and just fit in. But compassion breeds resentment. Mm. No, that's not what that word is. But compromise breeds resentment. <laughs> If I don't get some glasses, I'm telling y'all, looking or locking yourself into the pretense of what others want will strangle your soul and split you in two. Accept yourself. Set yourself free from judgment and what you perceive others think about you. I know that's right. Altered view. Let your soul shine outward and inspire others to connect, embrace, and shine their truth. Okay, come on. When we are aligned with our soul, we feel loved and satisfied. We no longer need others to lean on to fill our perceived voids. Ooh. Or to be different to who they are. Okay, that's right, Cancer. You are unique in your own daggone. Can't nobody make you feel like you got to be like them. Who the heck are they? <laughs> that wait a second. You got to be like me. What the? Boy, please. We want, <laughs> we want to be with others for the pure joy of it. Create new ways towards anything that is of interest to you. Uh, can you feel relief wash over you? You are beautiful. Sacred language of light, y'all. <laughs> it's awesome, awesome. Let it shine, baby. Let it shine. Let it shine, shine, shine. Let it shine. <laughs> okay, Cancer. That's your reading, baby. So, so when this person comes back at you, you just let your light shine. Like, yes, I know. I know I'm Cancer. I know I... <clears throat> And beautiful. I know I'm unique and one of a kind. Okay, I, I realize that, and you know, uh, I, I'm not surprised that you <laughs> coming back at me, taking the leaps. Like, no, <laughs> don't be like that, Cassa. But just let your beauty shine. That's all. Just let your beauty shine. You know, you are awesome, Cassa, and you know I love you. I love you, Cancer. I don't give a I don't give a damn how many cancers have, you know, acted crazy towards me. I would still love my cancers. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I can see your beauty. I can see your light, okay? And uh like I said, I love you. All right, baby, that's that's your reading, okay? <laughs> okay, so until next time, Cancer. Peace, love, and light. Bye bye, honey.